For seven-year-old Larry Dean Rutherford, the birthday gift of a tiger-striped Stella guitar set him off on a course that would shape country music. He soon began writing songs under the influence of the Merle Haggard tunes he heard on the radio and lyrics he read in Country Song Roundup magazine. Here's one of my favorite singers doing his favorite singer's song. It's Merle Haggard's song, and it's done by our own Dean Rutherford. In my house of memories Where troubles surround me By the time he turned 15, he was singing on local TV shows and pitching his songs to his country music heroes by mail. After high school graduation, Larry hitchhiked to Nashville, determined to work in the music business. He got a job performing at the Opryland theme park and soon signed to Shelby Singleton's Plantation Records, releasing one single as Dean Dalton. Going by the name Dean Rutherford, he signed a publishing deal with Music Row innovator Tom Collins and landed cuts including the number two billboard hit, Lying in Love with You, recorded by Jim Ed Brown and Helen Cornelius. Lying in love with you, today that's all I want to do. Well, I'm into the bottom. In 1979, when Dean Rutherford signed with RCA as a recording artist, label head Jerry Bradley suggested a name change was in order. After thumbing through the phone book, Bradley landed on Dean Dillon. As an RCA artist, Dean Dillon often joined honky-tonk stalwart Gary Stewart for duets. While Dillon's RCA singles did not become huge hits, the songs he wrote for other artists did. Dylan wrote or co-wrote major songs for the likes of Vern Gosden. Set him up, Joe, and play walking the floor. Set him up, Joe, and play walking the floor. Keith Whitley. Miami, Miami loves me after all. And Hank Williams, Jr. I guess they should have left him alone and let him sing his song. Dylan's biggest break came when a record producer approached him looking for songs for a new artist from Texas named George Strait. Dylan pitched several songs, including Unwound, co-written with Frank Dykus, which became Strait's first hit. Dylan and George Strait became one of the most successful artist-writer teams in the history of country music. Dylan would go on to write or co-write more than 75 songs recorded by Strait, many becoming hits, including If I Know Me, Marina Del Rey, and Nobody in His Right Mind Would Have Left Her. Nobody in his right mind would have left her. Dylan's co-writers include some of country music's best, including Buddy Cannon and Nora Wilson. Dean Dillon teamed with Hall of Fame songwriter Hank Cochran to create George Strait's chart toppers, The Chair and Oceanfront Property. I got some oceanfront property in Arizona. From my front porch you can see the sea. She's hot country. By the early 90s, Dylan realized he was much more successful as a songwriter than as a recording artist, and he narrowed his focus. Collaborations and hits kept coming, including Spilled Perfume with Pam Tillis, There's no use crying over spilled perfume. A Little Too Late with Toby Keith, it's got a little too sad, I'm a little too blue, just a little too bad, you were too good to be true. I'm big time over you, baby. It's a little too late. And a lot of things different for Kenny Chesney, written with Country Music Hall of Fame member Bill Anderson. Oh, I, I've done a lot of things. I think we'd all do a lot of things different. And you're as 
Tennessee whiskey Your aspirin Strawberry wine Chris Stapleton revived a Dean Dillon and Linda Hargrove song that had been a number two hit for George Jones in 1983. Stapleton's performance of Tennessee Whiskey at the 2015 CMA Awards with Justin Timberlake gave the world its next country music star. That's just the way it sometimes goes. Dean Dillon has been inducted into the Nashville Songwriters Hall of Fame and received the BMI Icon Award. He was given the Poets Award at the 8th Annual Academy of Country Music Honors in 2015, and now he joins his heroes, Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash, and his friends and collaborators, Bill Anderson, Hank Cochran, and George Strait, as a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame. Easy come, girl, easy go. 